And because of that, I'm able to become much more efficient and get way more done in a very short amount of time. And it's made me, it's just made me a much more efficient worker overall. For the rugged. For the rugged. Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I got up price for y'all. Snake guys on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. Yo, what's going on? It is Miguel. And if this is your first time on this channel, I like to talk about all things business and self-development related. So if you're interested in anything like that, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Leave a like on this video because that's all I'll post about. On this particular video, I'm going to be talking about the five things that I wish I knew before I started my business. So if you do not know, I own a marketing agency where I help social media influencers, primarily uh, YouTubers, who are famous for fitness, I help them monetize their audience by helping them create fitness programs that people can purchase through what's called sales funnels. I create the funnels, I create the strategy, and then they are able to send their audience to these sales funnels, websites, whatever you wanna call them, and then we both make money. Simple as pie. So that is my business. Now, what do I wish I knew before I even started this? The first thing that I wish I knew before I started was that I should be playing to my strengths instead of trying to make things work that I know I am not intuitively good at. Yes, obviously there, you always wanna like constantly iron yourself out, um, work on your weaknesses a little bit, but if you're not playing to your strengths, then you're going to be basically shooting yourself in the foot from the start. I know Grant Cardone says the complete opposite, but I spent an entire two years trying to go door to door, walking into random stores, restaurants, all sorts of small businesses, trying to pitch them on my services as a social media marketing consultant and was shut down over and over again over the course of two years. I did not get one client. And then the first person I pitch on my services, the first YouTuber I pitch, immediately says yes, because they get it. Not only that, but the skill set that I was developing over the course of that two years was much, it was way more effective for these YouTubers than it would have been for these small businesses. So now that I know that, I'm constantly trying to play more and more into my strengths, but had I known this two years before, I'd probably be much further along than I am right now. The second thing that I wish I knew before I started my business was that your network, the people that you have around you, really, really, really do play a huge role in how far you get in life. Now, I heard this and I did sort of take heed to it, but I did not take it that seriously until randomly one year, well, everyone was kind of just like, everyone around me was being weird. People were acting very aggressive to me because of other things, not because of the business stuff, but people were starting to act, act pretty aggressive to me. And at that point, in my life I was kind of just like a yo if you start at, if you start tripping I'm just gonna remove myself from the situation so when that happened I just removed myself from that situation uh, these people who I was hanging out with I cut them off completely I went about a year where I had literally had no friends because I was just like, yo, fuck it, none of you guys are relating to me, none of you guys are trying to get to levels that I'm trying to get at. And because of that, I feel like you guys are a bad influence on me and all of you guys are starting to get really weird and aggressive towards me. So fuck it, I'm just not gonna talk to you and I'm gonna go in like monk mode and just not talk to anybody and just work on myself and work on my business. And when I tell you like everything just started skyrocketing from that moment on, like it, it would be, it's almost hard to believe that it, it happened like that. So that piece of advice is very, very serious and it can be hard to detach yourself because you'll have to deal with not only just losing friends who you may have known for a very long time, but you also have to deal with the loneliness if you don't have anyone else who can you who you can relate with, who you can speak to about these sort of things. So it's just something that you have to go through. It's something that I went through, but just know that if you do finally fucking get that courage in yourself to say fuck you guys to all the people who do not elevate you, I promise you, you will start to attract people who are on a higher level and they will pull your ass up because if you do not come up and meet them or surpass them they will cut your ass off ruthlessly so 
The third thing that I wish I knew before I started my business was how to go about getting a mentor. So the way that I personally went about it, if you don't know who my mentor is, it is Brandon motherfucking Carter, AKA King Keto. Look him up on Instagram. He is a beast and he's like, he's just so buff. God damn. But anyways, the way that I got him as my mentor was actually pretty easy. He was making vlogs and then he randomly had a vlog where he was like, yo, we're trying to make like micro content for the vlogs. And I was like, huh, that's interesting. So instead of just asking if he would need stuff or if he could mentor me or if I could work with him, I just started making micro content of his vlogs and sending it to him unsolicited. And it was like, yo, this might help. Yo, you can have these. Just randomly started editing photos that he posted on the internet and sending it to him. Actually, I wasn't sending it to him. I was sending it to his uh, COO, the per like his right hand man. I found his email address and I was sending all of it to him completely unsolicited and they were extremely grateful of it. And over the course of a few months, eventually I got closer and closer and closer to Brandon Carter. And eventually he just became my mentor. Now me and him work one-on-one, -on -one, work directly with each other. I help him out with his business. He helps me out with some of my stuff. And all of this is because I started working him for free unsolicited. He did not ask me. I did not ask him. I just started working for him without his permission. And in the end, he became my mentor. And that mentorship has led to me learning a ton of stuff that has become beneficial to me and what it is that I have going on. So if I would have known that that is all I had to do a year or two before I even started going into my business stuff, then I probably more than likely would be much further along. The fourth thing that I wish I knew before I started my business was that motivation is basically a non-factor. All it takes is pure consistency and will and dedication. That's literally it. I got the hang of this maybe a year ago, definitely now, but about a year ago was when, um, no, actually pretty much a year ago to this date, I spent the entire month of December, 2017, tracking every single second of my day and figuring out where I was allocating my time, my minutes, my hours, my seconds, where it was being spent. And ever since I did that, ever since I did that little test on myself, I've been much more cognizant of the way I've been, sp I spend my time. And because of that, I'm able to become much more efficient and get way more done in a very short amount of time. And it's made me much more, it's just made me a much more efficient worker overall to the point where a lot of people I notice around my age get distracted pretty easily or they can't sit down and work for long extended periods of time. So that month that I spent doing that was just a very beneficial thing to me and I've noticed that it sets me apart from a lot of people and it helps me push my business as far as I have today and I credit a lot of it to the work ethic that I was able to build. So the last thing that I wish I knew before I started my business was the importance of sales funnels and all of the things associated with them including ads, the strategies that I've been implementing recently. Uh, those are the main two things but just the importance of sales funnels. I did know about them. I had expert secrets. I had dot-com secrets. I even read them. But for whatever reason, it did not sink in until after, I think November 2017 was the year that um, I went to High Status Summit. And that sort of lit a spark under my ass. And then I went back and read that book again. And the information actually sunk in much more deeply and after that is when I actually started making strides with my business and actually started like aiming towards using this whole sales funnel strategy stuff. When that strategy, like all of that sales funnel stuff like was on the table that entire time and I just did not approach it until that appropriate time. But I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason and everything happens exactly when it's supposed to. But these are five things that I wish I knew before I started my business. And now that I know it, I've noticed myself getting much further along. So hopefully by watching this video, you are able to push yourself much further as well. So thank you for watching all the way to the end. If you are still here, if there's anything else you would like to learn on this channel, go ahead and leave that comment below. Leave a question. Let me know what it is you would like to learn, what you would like a video about. If you got value, if you learned anything, go ahead and subscribe and like this video and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.